Hey, good afternoon everybody. I want to do a video today on another subliminal lesson really going into the subconscious mind and the power of the subconscious mind. And I originally had done a 40 minute, 30 minute video that was more of me venting about all of the fake subliminal creators out there that are taking advantage, you know, of a bunch of foolish people, a bunch of foolish teenagers. I'm not saying all teenagers are foolish. I'm saying the teenagers that they're fooling are fools. It's the same thing that's going on right now where you have one criminal family that owns all of the dead news. I call it the dead news because everybody or just about everybody understands that, you know, it's just a big cover up for their crimes like 9-11, World War II, and um, now Corona, right? And it blows my mind how just so many people, you know, still, I would it's a lot better than it was during 9-11. You know, I would say at least half of the world, if not at least 35, 40% of the world, is calling bullshit. Like, do you know how many other far worse health issues are going on right now? But wait a moment, why is this one criminal family only focusing on this one problem over and 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 over again? Repetition, repetition. But anyways, there's a lot of, so I, I, I had originally made a 40 minute video just kind of me just venting about how um, there are 75% of subliminal creators don't even know how to write a proper affirmation. And I, I had even pulled up some fake subliminal accounts on my phone, but I don't, I don't want to do that, guys. I want to make an educational video. I want to make something from my heart that's actually going to provide you guys value. And this video is a little more, oh, there goes Hannon. Zanon's like, okay, you got me already. Uh, I'm ready to, I'm ready to sit down and listen to this. <laughs> and guys, I wanted to, um, I want to warn you. This is going to be a little more advanced. And if you're not there, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world, right? It would be like you, kind of, if you're in algebra one or two, or you only know how to do algebra, and you were to go sit down in a, you know, calculus class, you, you're going to be lost. But you still might learn some things. You, you know, you still might benefit from it. And I'm going to make this as practical as possible. You know, I've studied, you know, the higher faculties and the subconscious mind, the thinking mind. You know, I call it the creative mind. The creative mind. My entire life from, I mean, the most brilliant people that have studied this for decades on decades and decades. And then, you know, I am now teaching a lot of them, if not all of them. And... I'm very grateful to also have studied the science of life, a.k.a. what Albert Einstein studied and what Aristotle studied. You know, Aristotle would hold up an acorn seed. Whoa, just about... Just about the size of this, right? And Aristotle would ask, What do I have? And he wanted his class not to say an acorn seed. Aristotle wanted his class to say an acorn tree because through the vibrational shifts and movements inside of the acorn's DNA this thing was going to turn into an acorn tree it was already written inside of the DNA the possibility and the vibration of love you know I've had the privilege to study quantum physics my entire life and oh my god you know it's amazing you know and I don't want to I don't want to I'm going to slowly start unwrapping the present for you guys. And I'm going to do my best to make this 20 minutes. Um, very deep things, though. And it's very... Guys, the vibration of love, 528 hertz, flows through the plants, the animals, the flowers, all of life. Even the rainbows and even <laughs> the stars and the galaxies vibrates on 528 hertz it's beautiful beautiful miraculous they put an instrument into oil spilled water vibrating properly which is very important right properly transmitting the the vibration of 528 hertz and they left the instrument there and the very next day sea life had returned to the oil spilled water you know Guys, people don't realize the vibration of love turned an entire dead planet into life. And not just life, but 
How many insect species do we have? Oh my goodness. How many animals and plant species do we have? Oh my goodness. <laughs> How many different people do we have that actually understand and love themselves, aka awaken? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the power of the vibration of love that brings all of life to life, just like the acorn seed that the acorn tree vibrates on. Now what does this have to do with the subconscious mind? Everything. Our thoughts, your thoughts, your thoughts, your consciousness, not the physical brain, okay? Not the physical brain, your consciousness, your one voice, I call it. When you awaken and you understand the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are, right? And when you understand the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are, you discover this one voice. Your voice, the whole, your whole life purpose, why you're here, this one voice. And you let go of all these bullshit dogma mass, you know, Christian, Muslim, you know, goth, you know, Mexican, British, Canadian. Those are bullshit dogma mass. You, you understand who you truly are on the inside. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 55,000 people that could be doing what I do, but better. So beautiful. And I get passionate about this. I get really passionate. My phone's blinking right now, but I am still focused on this because I get passionate about this. So when you discover this one conscious voice, right, our thoughts, our thoughts, reprogram our neurons and our physical brain. Holy shit, right? It's a completely backwards world that we were programmed into as little babies and children that during the 1980s and even 1990s and lower 2000s, every single baby and child was watching the same damn thing unless if you were some, you know, billionaire or millionaire that was already awakened this one criminal family owns, which is exactly why they don't want YouTube pay, they don't allow YouTube children content creators to make, or excuse me, to be paid. If you're a YouTube co content creator on YouTube and you create children's content, you are not able to be paid by YouTube. There was a government, a government law passed by these bought off politicians, right? Right, that this one family, the Rockefellers, passed. That I could send you all of the evidence and all of the links by third parties, not their media, because this family owns all of the news and all of the media publishes. Right, a third party. Anyways, I don't want to go into that. That's a whole. That's a whole another 30, 30 minute video. It's very important, guys. Our thoughts. Our conscious thoughts create the physical world. Now, the subconscious mind, your subconscious mind is all ran on emotion. It's pure, raw emotion. Energy, right? Energy, emotion, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it energy. Energy is a little more technical and correct. Right, this physical world, you can touch your face, you can touch your loved one's face, you can touch your dog's face, but you don't need to touch anybody. If you stare at the back of somebody's head, what happens? When I drive, when you drive sometimes, just focus your energy on the car in front of you if you're able to, if you're a multitasker. If not, you don't risk your life. And they will always turn around and look at you in their, their little side mirror. You'll see them always look back at you. And this is what your soul is. This is what awakening is when you awaken. 
and you embrace yourself, your soul on the inside. You let go of the physical world, and you start consciously thinking, and you are now letting go of the bullshit delusion, I call it, bullshit illusion of the flesh, and you embrace the truth, which is love, a.k.a. understanding, within, energy, that is the truth. That's all that there is. It's when we, I, physically I die, my consciousness, and now I'm, I want to discuss in today's video, our subconscious and our soul are all three still alive. And I don't believe in religion. I believe in the unadulterated messages of religion, or the partial messages of unadulterated religion. And that's before man came in and started, you know, oh my God, God spoke through me, and he told me that all of you guys need to repent to my church, and you need to tithe to me 10%, and you need to make sure you always come to church on the seventh day of the week, and make sure you tithe to me 10%, but those who tithe higher to me, God told me that you have a higher place in heaven, and God spoke through me, I was not drunk or I was not on drugs. Guys, <laughs> it's very important to understand, when we die, right, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, okay, the Son is the flesh, the Holy Spirit is our subconscious mind, I don't call it the adulterated man word, I call it infinite life, infinite spirit. Right? Because I just told you, 528 hertz, there's a frequency, there's vibration. Rather, it's love, or if it's bad, there's energy flowing through all of life, out to the stars, tilting the gravitational shifts of the planet. We are astrology. We dictate where the stars go, where the planets go. Once you, This is George. George is a, is, is a monkey. I love monkeys. I love dogs, obviously. I love cats, too. Cats are very cool. But we're not George. We're not the dogs. We have a privilege and an honor, a very deep honor and privilege, which I am beyond grateful for, and I hope you are, too, that we have the ability to think. George is no longer a monkey. George is now thinking for himself. He is no longer being controlled by one criminal family. You know? George, just like all of us, when his wills are spinning, has imagination, imagination, perception, reason or common sense, memory, and free will, the ability to focus this energy. This is what separates us from all other forms of life. And that's your life purpose, is when you let go of these dogma masks, you understand and love yourself on the inside, and you apply your, what I said, our creative mind, our higher faculties, and our subconscious mind. You know, we could create entire planets together if we all understood this, what being a human being actually really is with our creative powers. And guys, our thoughts, right, our, our thoughts through our, our, our higher faculty thinking, or common sense, we can think and reprogram our subconscious mind direct where, like I just said, the subconscious mind runs purely on emotion, purely on energy. The subconscious mind is 20,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind. We can light up an entire planet with this. This energy that flows through our subconscious mind goes out to the stars. It goes out to all of life. Holy shit. This is no, this is not, this is not what they would ever teach you in school. This is what the most powerful people use to control the schools. <laughs> our thoughts. How do we, to Luke, say Luke, this is some very deep shit. And you're really starting to blow my mind. Like, I am like, I'm, are we gods or something? We are all created in the creator's highest image. Are we more powerful than the one, the original creator, that through thinking, just like you can do, through thinking, his consciousness, the creator's consciousness, 
through thinking and directing the vibration of love, the vibration of love, his thoughts directed this 528 hertz. And because he was in outer space, I talked about this in our last video where I was going into very deep and advanced quantum physics and the science of life. And quantum physics, we understand gravity does not exist in space. Therefore, our thoughts or our thinking could manifest or our subconscious minds could manifest physical form in space such as Earth like that. Like that. And that's how Earth was created. Now, it's very important to understand our subconscious mind. How do we direct this? How do we use this power? Well, it's very important to understand that we're not using anything. Using is a very dangerous word technically, right? When we've learned how to apply and direct technically, right, th this power, there's two ways. Repetition, right? Through repetition, we can repeat over and over again and t actually tell the subconscious mind what it's going to change. And we have ment you have mental paradigms. I call them algorithms, right? A scientist by the name of Claude Shannon. This is going to blow your mind. A scientist by the name of Claude Shannon discovered bits and strings and pieces of computer coding in all of life's DNA. This is, is, this is the matrix. This is what awakening is. This is what consciousness is. And we can reprogram these strings of bits and coding of computer code, which are in our subconscious mind, as the technical psychological term psychologists call it, is paradigms. Your paradigms. And your paradigms, we can reprogram these algorithms that dictate how you kiss, how you walk, how you drink your water, how you pet your dog, how you talk, how loud you talk, how you talk when you didn't sleep very good last night, how you... everything, everything is dictated by these subconscious algorithms called paradigms. And this is how, and I want to share some good news with all of you guys. I want to share some good news with you, okay? We have officially cured, or just about cured, we have fixed thyroid disorder, autoimmune disorder, drug abuse recovery, oral bleeding in the gums, growing people's hair longer, more curly, helping people swim faster, run faster, run longer, everything. And people are seeing results in just days, and then they compound, right, just like the stocks, right, we all heard this word before, compound their results, and it just goes through the roof. People have grown t inches taller, and this is how you do it. The body, your body is a molecular structure that vibrates accordingly to your thoughts. Now, your subconscious mind is where we want to think, not thoughts up here, right? Thoughts up here are great for when it comes to, you know, rejecting or accepting information, a.k.a. being George that just automatically just sucks up everything, right, this one criminal family says, or rejecting it because of obvious reasons, right? Now our subconscious mind's thoughts, woo, guys, this is a molecular structure. Our atoms, your DNA, is all an illusion. It's all vibrating. So how could we reincarnate like the prophet Jesus? How could we walk on water? How could we, like we're already doing to some degree right now, become a mortal? Subconscious mind. And a lot of you guys, a lot of people watching this video are a little bit more clever. The wheels in their head are already spinning. You know, we might have a couple of Georges out there. That's okay. We all started off, most of us, as a George. Now, now I speak the truth. And if you don't like that, then this channel's not for you, right? You to, to go run off and go watch, you know, Fox News or CNN. Now, guys, I don't want to live forever. I don't want to live forever. And it's why I have not focused on immortality. And it's because I'm already living in the realm of energy and truth and the vibration of love. I'm already alive. 
what I was, from what I've explained to you guys so far, you're understanding now. We can now understand, right? The body is vibrating accordingly on a molecular structure level. Our subconscious mind, when it al when your subconscious mind aligns with the vibration of love, that can create anything. It can cure anything. It can cure an entire ocean of oil spilled water, an entire area. Do you know how toxic oil is? By the way, when the skeptics showed up and tested that, it was, they were astonished that when properly transmitted the, the vibration of love, or this is the other synonym that I want to give you guys today. They call it the vibration of love and or the vibration of creation or miracles. You are a 400 trillion to one miracle. And this vibration of miracles or creation, love, you understand why they call it this now. It brought this entire planet to life. It allows all of life, including the acorn seeds and plant seeds, to become and evolve. It's why if you're, this is why suicide and depression rates are so high. People are not vibrating on the vibration of love, which is what expands and creates life. Now, guys. I've already told you, you understand and you awaken, you discover your true self, you realign with the vibration of love. That's how you do it. Now, the subconscious mind. There is a tribe in Europe that when they're sleeping, when this tribe sleeps at night, through their dreams, through their dreams, this tribe in Europe is able to wake up the next day and already understand exactly what's going to happen. This is very powerful quantum physics. If I want to talk to anybody in Tokyo, Japan right now, I don't talk to them. I could fill them with my energy and they will fucking call me by the end of the day. During the space landing the astronauts right they would practice talking and communicating with each other not even by talking they would communicate up here during the moon landing they were communicating with their minds that was a long time ago guys it's time for people to start getting with the times stop being used stop being puppeted around by religion and the family that understands this like the back of their fucking hands Oh yeah, and when they adulterate the, this vibration of love, they control it. Oh my God, you could. This is how the Catholic Church ruled fucking Europe for so long, and then monarched over here with their dynasty, the Rockefellers and their friends. Guys, so the subconscious mind. When you're asleep, right? What the, what these people? I'm gonna let me explain to you for those who are confused. When they're they're asleep. They are dreaming. They are lucid dreaming. The movie Avatar. The movie Avatar came and Titanic came to the guy when he was in a lucid dream. Very popular. The, John Lennon was going to put 528 hertz in his song. When you are asleep and lucid dreaming, These, this tribe in Europe understands that they can lucid dream and create whatever they want in their dream, and if it aligns with the vibration of love, the very next day, because dreaming you are in your subconscious mind. When you are dreaming, you are in your subconscious mind. Oh my God, guys, I, I just can't explain, I can't express how powerful this is. Now the movie Inception, Jessica something loves your comment on YouTube. Thank you, Jessica. Donor box, we don't need donor box. Guys, the, you, when you are dreaming, you are in your subconscious mind. You, oh my God. The movie Inception, the movie, the movie Inception is great. The problem with Inception is it doesn't go into enough death of what we can do when we reverse sleep. 
And that's what awakening is, right? You're no longer George the monkey who is just blah, 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 blah. And that's literally what I hear all day. Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing. And when you awaken, though, right, you discover yourself. And you have these higher faculties. And you have the ability to think and reprogram your subconscious mind at will. Guys, we are in the matrix. You know, throughout my entire day, literally, I am making calculations up in my mind. I am calculating. I am performing very advanced calculations. Every single decision I make is correlated with four or five other decisions in my life that are going on. I have my book I'm writing right now, the harp that I'm learning, my YouTube channel, my exercising. I have my mission trip that I'm getting ready to start planning on top of that. I have my other book. I have my editor. I have my cover page going on. I have two other, three other investments that I'm watching. I have some other, you get the point. This is all going on in my mind during the day, and I'm just, just lucid dreaming all day long. I am up here. This is all an illusion. I'm talking to you up here right now. Guys. Our subconscious mind, when you are dreaming, you are in your subconscious mind. So what this, what these people in Europe have discovered or what they've been doing is when they are lucid dreaming and asleep, they understand how to direct. Now, this is very important. What did I say earlier? 75% of subliminal creators don't even know how to write a proper algorithm for the subconscious mind. So if you don't understand how the subconscious mind works and how to direct it, it's not going to be any good. But if, you, oh my God, if you understand how to lucid dream and how the subconscious mind works, you could, we could create, oh my God, we could, we, just like this tribe is doing right now, we, we could, we could, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Now, I want to start making, I want to start making our subliminal messages, or if you're using a desktop, I want to start making our subliminal messages, uh, more for when you're asleep, when we're asleep. And I know people listen to subliminal messages when they're asleep, and God, you are in such a deep relaxation. You are not in just, you're, you, your subconscious mind is just wide open, and you are in literally your subconscious mind because you are so relaxed. And you, we, is very possible through very deep and accurate meditation to get very close to this lucid dream state that the movie Avatar and these other movies have come in. But you have to really know how to consciously breathe and you have to really understand how to direct your breath and direct your body with your breath. And people already, very good job guys, are already listening to subliminal messages when they're asleep and they see much, much faster results. Now, I'm a very light sleeper and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. So I'm, I want to start making our subliminal messages for when people are asleep. And this is, the, this is the first direction or announcement of where our YouTube channel is gonna go. Now guys, immortality, how could we apply this? See, when you, what did I say earlier? When we die physically, our consciousness is still here. We can still consciously, we're going to still consciously be aware and still thinking, right? Our memory, one of our higher faculties, programs the physical brain. It's why, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. And this might, this might crush a lot of people's teenage dreams, but... Imagination, intuition, mem photographic and a lot of memory, reason, the ability to consciously think, and free will or the ability, ability to focus and direct energy are spiritual gifts. This cannot be programmed in the physical brain. This cannot be programmed in a physical computer. This cannot be programmed in computer, physical computer coding that you can see with the naked eye never will be possible because the physical world is the BIT of our higher faculties of our subconscious mind 
that created this entire physical world. And Mark Zuckerberg and all of these other guys can sit there and waste away billions and trillions of dollars. But what people misunderstand is what they're doing. They're not giving us super mental powers. Our brain can already make a supercomputer look like a fucking toy. And our spiritual gifts I just told you about, imagination, perception, common sense or reason, a lot of memory, and the ability to freely focus our willpower and intuition, create the physical world. It's the truth of where, where everything is. That was very important. Very important then to understand, I don't want to get into chips, but basically long story short, what they're doing really is allowing us to connect to technology. As in, I don't have to go turn on my AC. I don't have to turn on the lights like this. Speaking, I can just do it with my brain. That's it. We're just getting rid of, we're, we're getting rid of the physical world. Less, excuse me, less action less action just like the drones right drone delivery less action less george activity and more more uh can be more connection to technology now we will never like i said be able to give us superpowers or anything like that the subconscious mind is not physical it, well it becomes physical when we all understand what i mean by that now so how, when we die, when you die, therefore we understand now, and I don't need to die to find this out. This is just everything I've explained to you. This is how the universe works. This is how energy works. This is how the mind works. And we know that through our subliminal results. We know that through meditation and all these other scientific studies I've told you about through that use the vibra vibration of love correctly. So therefore, when we die, when we die, our consciousness is still here. Our subconscious is still here. Our soul is still here. The issue that we have is our physical body is gone. And the major issue we have and why people cannot resurrect like the prophet Jesus is they do not consciously have access to that in their subconscious mind. And if you do not subconsciously already have access to that, it's not possible. But the prophet Jesus understood subconsciously. He understood how to where he could then bring his physical form back into himself. And when I say himself, I mean his consciousness, his soul, and subconscious. So we can, therefore, with our conscious mind, with our conscious mind, we could therefore, with our conscious mind, we could, with our conscious mind, we could then tell our subconscious mind how to resurrect. And how do we do that? I told you earlier, repetition. Repetition. And you form the new belief or paradigm in your subconscious mind. If you have that belief in your subconscious mind that you can resurrect from the dead, you will resurrect from the dead. The vibration of faith, the vibration of belief, if you have a paradigm that is formulated on the vibration and emotion of belief, you will do anything. And what did I tell you? Guys, our subconscious mind is 20,000 times more powerful than the conscious mind. Our subconscious mind could light up an entire planet. Our subconscious mind is where all of this energy, or I call it infinite life, some call it the Holy Spirit, flows through. If we formulate through repetition a new paradigm or algorithm formulated in belief that we can resurrect our physical body, which is the B-I-T-C-H, of 
our conscious, subconscious, and soul, or aka energy, it will happen. This is all just a molecular structure that vibrates accordingly to our consciousness and our desires of our soul that therefore our subconscious mind can alliterate with all of this energy. Powerful energy. Infinite, infinite energy. And when it's aligned through the vibration of love that brought this entire planet to life, cleaned oil, spilled water in one day, and long lists of miracles, creation, we could recreate ourselves. Now we understand why. Walking on water, it's all, this is all an illusion. This is all just a vibration. Our cells right now are vibrating. It, it, would, it would require tremendous mastery or tremendous repetition for very long periods of time to get there with the subconscious mind. And I just told you how powerful the subconscious mind is. I just told you not only how powerful the subconscious mind is, but how it directs all of energy or what there really is. Now, immortality is really not that difficult. <laughs> people, people don't realize, you know, I, I, made a, I made a fountain of youth subliminal. I made a fountain of youth subliminal. And people were already reporting that their skin looked healthier, they felt healthier in just days. In just a couple of days. Uh, guys, our physical body is the B-I-T-C-H of this, of our subconscious. It's how people are changing their eye colors, how people are growing taller, how we're curing diseases. This is the reality that we live in now. If we can cure diseases, we can fix people's thyroids, if we can fix autoimmune disorder, if we can make people swim faster and run longer, we can easily have our organs and our brain reverse and regenerate at optimal times and months and years. This has only been weeks. That's it. That's it. Just weeks. We've already fixed autoimmune. We've already fixed these problems with this, with this that directs 20,000 times more powerful, directs all of this. Directs all of this energy flowing through all of the galaxies and that brought planet Earth to life. We are the creator. We are individual creators, excuse me. More powerful? No. Nobody is more powerful. than We are all hard-coded equally. It's a matter of people understanding and becoming aware consciously and subconsciously through repetition and formulating the proper beliefs to gain access to this power that we all were given and hard-coded, right? Hard-coded as. It's in our spiritual DNA. That's what I mean by spiritual DNA. It's how we all, we all were given these spiritual gifts that create the physical world, that create computer coding. Now the problem is we got Georges running all over the place and we got Georges being used by religion. We got Georges being used by this criminal family. How many Georges do we got today? Now guys, don't be George. And I want to, I really want to, like I said, start remaking our subliminal messages. Start making our subliminal messages to where they, they start activating and they start triggering their triggers and they start building their systems that I write. Like I said guys, I'm, a, I'm very humble. I don't want to bash on the 25% of people that actually know how to write affirmations, but the other day I was going through one of the top, so-called top subliminal creators, and um, yeah, we won't go there. But anyways, guys, I really want to start building our subliminals that we've seen amazing results from so far for all of the disorders and diseases I've already listed and many more. I want to start writing our systems and our algorithms and our triggers and so forth in the subconscious mind that I live in to where your subconscious mind will start building while it's asleep, right? And if you listen to it while you're asleep already, it's just going to be more powerful because the triggers and the algorithms are going to be written for just the sleep, where we are therefore in our subconscious mind living, and therefore it would be similar. Like I said, Inception is a backward movie, right? I'm already in Inception right now while I'm talking to you. That's what awakening and consciousness is and understanding and mastering our spiritual DNA and our higher faculties. Now, now I also, on top of this, 
I'm about to hit the 40 minute mark and that's where I like to cut off our videos. I want to also, I want to also start writing these subconscious coding that I write in our um, subliminal messages. I want to start, for, for you guys who caught on, I just released a video called The Love Cell. And the love cell basically subconsciously tells your body to make a new cell called the love cell. And I and I told I listed all of the benefits of what the love cell is. Now I'm starting to understand that if we can create new cells and we can if we, if we can create new cells and tell the cells what to do with our mind, since the body is the B-I-T-C-H of our mind and our subconscious especially, then we could live forever. We're not just, we're, we'll, just, we'll not just keep curing diseases like I've already listed, but we will live forever because our subconscious mind has built these algorithms of belief that generate and produce these cells and regenerate our organs and our tissues and our brain to where we, we will live forever. But I don't want to live forever, really, physically. But I understand a lot of you guys might want to. And, I mean, just, just, it blows my mind, guys. Ignorance. Ignorance is all there is. And I it, it makes me wonder, if our... YouTube channel, if our subliminals continue at this rate, where we are not only killer, curing thyroid issues, autoimmune disorders, you know, growing long, this guy had straight hair, it's curly now, some guys swimming seconds faster, which is a lot in the swimming world. All kinds of people, all kinds of diseases, all kinds of issues are just cured like that because the vibration of love, I already told you, that's why we use the vibration of love. That's why we use the power of the deep subconscious mind. And I go deep. Therefore, like I said, I've already explained to you guys, and this is the end of the video, basically, like I said, there is nothing we cannot do with the subconscious mind. And the realm of dreaming, I want night dreaming, I call it, right? The realm of night dreaming. I really want to start getting into the realm of night dreaming and combining that with our subliminal messages, like I said. And two, I want to start playing around with more cellular production. Because we can create anything physical. Anything. Creating physical body parts. I'm starting to realize, like I just said, that when we're asleep and the subconscious mind is... We're in the subconscious mind, basically, consciously. It's very important that we could... We could grow body parts and see physical results very quick if our algorithms are written that way and that's where we're heading guys i wish you all the very best i am going to be posting this video on facebook and advertising it out a little bit just to try to create some more um you know i call us human beings i don't know what other people would call it you know gods <laughs> anyways guys i wish you all the very best and love you all